Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Crafting. Priscilla here with another tarot tidbit. And today we are on the final day of my week one collaboration with Joy at Witch Mooncraft over on Instagram. Um, Joy and I got together to do some witchy, magical, wonderful things with color magic and the rainbow um, using the traditional Roy G. Biv setup. And uh, here we are. So definitely go check out the post on Instagram because there's prompts there. There's some color magic ideas. There's some fun tarot associations, things like that to work through. And um, I thought I would do like a companion piece over here on YouTube where I pick out some cards that represent the prompt for the day or the prompt for the color um, out of my tarot deck. So I pick some cards that match that and then um, share those with you guys so that if you wanted to work with this energy or utilize it or manifest it, you could see some cards that you could pull out of your deck. I would also encourage you to look through your own deck and find the card that resonates for you on this idea. It might not necessarily be the card that I picked, but if it is, that's totally cool too. This is for inspiration. This is for just some ideas on how to work with the tarot. And um, we're going to jump into it. Thanks for liking my story. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to say right now, because um, you may just be joining me for the first time on this. Um, I started this series uh, filming this all in one day. So I'm, I'm doing all of these things at the same time. And I started out with a bottle of wine. I have finished that bottle of wine. I am now rehydrating. Uh, but it has not kicked in yet. So these are bad. <laughs> They're getting a little bit loopy. And I'm sorry, but not sorry. Because I think it's kind of fun. And um, I'm looking forward to re-watching these. And then just um, delighting in the unhinged person that I become. So here we are. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and we're going to jump into cards for persistence. Okay. So first up we have the three of wands and we're going to look at this through the lens of persistence. And I just want to say, I kind of struggled on what prompt to pick for purple or violet in general, because there were a lot of good ones I could have gone with, but I started thinking about like people who genuinely like purple and violet are very very adamant about how much they like it I think we all know like a purple person um, and they're they're persistent <laughs> if nothing else they are tenacious and they do not give up on their love of purple so I thought that would be very 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 appropriate for this color so we're looking at cards for persistence and how if you feel like you need like to sustain energy or momentum you can use the tarot to do that so these are some cards that I think would work for that um, and like I said first up three of wands and three of wands gets shit done this is the card where you like attract results like you don't just like go out there and put your nose to the grindstone things happen for you um, and it's because you you pursue them relentlessly um your energy pays off so the energy that you're putting into things um produces results without you having to like burn out to achieve it and um it's also the card of being like open-minded and having like an open heart to things and when you are able to open yourself up like that you find it very easy to be relentless in whatever you're pursuing so i think the three of wands is a really great card for people who are trying to be persistent um, especially if you have like a big project that you've been putting a lot of energy into, like this would be the card to, to sort of work with in order to get that payoff that you're looking for. And then after that, we have the nine of wands. And I'm sorry, guys, I don't know why my camera does not like these cards and just does not want to focus on them properly. I don't get it. Um, but it, it is what it is. We're working through it. And so the nine of wands tells us like in our pursuit of persistence, you need to be prepared for change. Like if you're going to be adamantly pursuing something or trying to not like give up on whatever you're doing, things are going to change and you have to be able to withstand the challenges, but it's also a very hopeful card. And I know like the images don't say like hopeful, they don't scream hopeful, but trust me, it really is. It really, really is. Um, because it's not like, uh, 
oh, you're going to get all banged up while you're trying to pursue your passions. It's like, yeah, you might get a little dinged up along the way, but you're going to achieve those results. You're going to get them done. You're going to be able to withstand whatever comes your way while you're being persistent and you're pursuing the things that you want to do. So I think the Nine of Wands is a really great card for that. And then I think we have the card that like exemplifies persistence. It's the Magician. And the magician is like the alchemist, right? They put things together um, to create something else. You know, they turn something from one thing into another. And when you are like very driven, when you're a persistent type of person, um, you're able to make those changes happen, right? You're able to, to sort of alchemize things into other things in your life. And they do this by um, constantly using their like... Uh, available resources in order to create positive change. So it's not like you have to acquire a bunch of things in the pursuit of your persistence. You can do that with the stuff around you in order to get the things that you want done. So if there is a goal that you have in mind, you can take the stuff that's around you, turn it into what you need, and make that stuff happen. And that might be something as simple as if you're a crafter, using what's in your stash to like make something that like nobody expected to make your best work, something like that, right? Um, this is like being relentlessly experimental too. like in your pursuit of persistence, maybe there's like something you want to try and you keep trying for it. So you have to keep trying new ways to do it. The magician card is a really great card to work with in order to, to sort of get that energy where you can try over and over and over again and experiment with what doesn't work and what does work in order to achieve something. And then we have the eight of wands. really mad at my camera right now <laughs> I don't know why it does that um and this is the swift decisive action card um in order to achieve desired results so this card isn't just telling you like be persistent uh, it's telling you like do it quickly so if you need stuff to happen if you need to sort of maintain an energy um over a short period of time this would be a really good card for that um it's also a very adaptable card and very action oriented. So if whatever you um, feel that you need to be driven about um, like requires actual physical action, this would be the card to pick for that. So like it could be something like you're trying to get like, you know, a bill changed in your, your local government um, and you need to pre like go to protests and council meetings and things like that um, so that you can get that happen, like so you can make that happen. The Eight of Wands tells you like, hey, we're going to do this and we're going to do it right now. You're going to like take all these steps to make it happen and you're not going to give up like we're going to be quick about this and we're going to be on top of everything. That's what this card tells you. It also tells you not to focus camera. And then up next, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is um, sort of the focusing of your willpower in order to help others. So if you are trying to be persistent about um, like the people in your community, maybe there is like a, a personal project you want to take up to like benefit others. Um, and you need to sort of maintain the energy to get that to happen. Um, the King of Wands is a really great card for that because it's taking your will and sort of concentrating it, but it's also like unlocking your natural leadership abilities so that um, you can get other people together in order to achieve that goal. Um, it also is like inexhaustible creativity. So if you need... Um, to sort of unlock your creative mind. Maybe you need to come up with some ways to like earn money quickly or something like that in order to achieve whatever goal you're trying to work on. Like, you know, bake sales, craft sales, things like that. Um, the King of Wands is really good for that. It's really good at helping you um, sort of unlock that sort of portion of your brain so you can be more creative and then maintain that. So in persistence, we're talking about being consistently driven to do something in order to achieve other things. And the King of Wands is really good at that. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which you've seen here before. Um, and this is the accomplishment card. It is the pride taking. Um, it is the space taking. Uh, it is the energy and encouragement to move forward card. So this card in the lens of persistence is sort of telling you like this is the goal, right? You're going to be successful. The success is there. 
it's in front of you. You just need to focus on this being the goal in order to maintain that energy, to maintain that persistent nature that gets you to this final stage. And um, I think that's really great. This is a really great card if you need help sort of visualizing the end stages to keep yourself motivated. And then the last persistent card I have is the Page of Swords. And this is more of an experimental card. This card is telling you it is okay to try out new things that maybe don't work. Um, it's telling you that your ideas will spur your action. So as long as you're constantly building your thoughts and working on those, evolving your, your, your train of thoughts, maybe experimenting with new ideas, you're going to find that action. Your ideas will become action. They'll sort of like alchemize into that. And it's telling you like every idea is worth pursuing in order to achieve your goal. So this is where the persistent comes in. It's telling you in your brain, in your mind, to stay like constantly working in your brain towards your goal so that you can sort of run every scenario to achieve that. And like that's the best way to do it because your ideas, once you work through them all, you try them all out in your brain, you're, you're going to be able to turn them into action very easily. And then on the reverse side, when we are feeling too persistent, um, it just means that, you know, maybe you have been very focused on a goal and you need to like you accomplished it but you're still really driven by it and focused on it and it's sort of becoming like it's um a, like subsuming your entire life so like it's it's replacing everything that you have going on because you've let this sort of persistent mindset take over and you need to step back and we have a scary card <laughs> on the reverse of that like what what would be the counter to persistence and this is accepting like, I think when we look at the Ten of Swords, we need to look at it as the card of acceptance. It's also, like, the card of grief, right? Um, what's done is done. It's over. You can let it go. You can release what doesn't work. So maybe in your pursuit of being persistent, you're chasing something that actually doesn't work out. Like, the goal that you're trying to achieve isn't going to work in the way that you're going about it. And you need to accept that so that you can let it go and move on to the next idea, the next goal, the next method that might work for you. And the Ten of Swords is really good for that when you're feeling like maybe you've you've plateaued on your persistent goal and um, you're not going to get anywhere. This card tells you, like, hey, like, let's accept it. This didn't work out the way we wanted it to. We're going to let it go and we're going to be able to take the time to like sort of uh, mellow out a little bit so that we can refocus and figure out what will actually work in order to get back in the game. So that's the Ten of Swords. And then the last on the opposite of Persistent side, we have the Six of Wands, which we've talked about before. Um, but this card tells you that it's time to appreciate your achievements, settle down and enjoy your success. Because if you're super persistent all the time, you do have successes. And maybe you aren't taking the time to appreciate them because you continue to move on to the next thing. You're going from one thing to another so quickly that you're not taking the time to sort of revel in your achievement. And this card is telling you like, hey, do that. Take a break. <laughs> Maybe like just enjoy your successes. Enjoy the wins while you have them um, so that you can appreciate them because eventually you're going to hit a point where like you hit a wall and you're not going to be as successful in the things that you want to because you're not taking the time to appreciate the things that you have been accomplishing. So that's what this card is telling us to do. It's telling us to step back, chill out a little bit, just enjoy the limelight. Enjoy the success of your hard work. You don't have to work every single day in order to be a persistent, achieving, actualized person. This card is very anti, like anti-capitalist, and I'm here for it. It's telling you, like, fucking take a break. You don't have to be productive every goddamn day. In other words. <laughs> so, those are the cards for persistence. That is the end of this little run of uh rainbow oriented color magic and the tarot and um, i hope that you guys enjoyed this little series um let me know other series that you guys would like to see here other collaborations maybe like other ideas for that i love collaborating with joy so i'm gonna say thank you joy for joining me on this journey um it was a lot of fun to really explore this and look at um, my cards in a different way that I normally do and how I can work with them in a different way. A little bit of that like think outside the box and sort of deepen the relationship that I have with the tarot. So I hope that it helped expand your guys' understanding and relationship with the tarot as well. And I'm going to hop off here um, because I think I've said enough and I think I need like two more cups of water and a nap. So 
that's gonna be all for me this time you guys if you made it to the end of the video i appreciate your faces don't forget to tell me what cards you would pick for persistence out of your tarot deck in the comments below or what you thought of the video in general and i will catch you guys all in the next one till then happy crafting bye